This is the size of the normal burger mold that I use. This is what I'm using today because today I'm making the Big Daddy Barbecue Burger. Yes, this is a sizable mold for a burger, but I want to make a big burger today. Not one that's too big to actually eat. I actually want one that's sort of mega, but edible. First thing I want to do is I want to hit this ring with a little bit of non-stick spray. That helps release the hamburger. Even though you think because of the fat in it that it would slide out easily, sometimes that fat acts like a glue and holds it to the side of the stainless steel rings. So I'm just going to hit the inside of it just a little bit. I have parchment paper down on my cutting board already. That way it'll make transferring the burger patty much easier. Now because I don't want to flip this too many times after I make it, I'm going to put any seasoning that I would normally put on that underside right in the mold. So I'm going to hit some pepper, some ground salt, and some Trader Joe's South African Smoked Seasoning Blend. And I'll just hit the top of the burger patty with the same seasoning once it's formed. All right, let's get our meat in there. We're going to be going with 80-20 ground beef today. And it may not fill this form completely top to bottom, but we're just going to work it in there. I don't want it to be too compressed. I just want it to form in there. This is about a pound and a half of ground beef in here. So it's definitely a big daddy burger. Okay, let's slide our ring mold off. Comes right off as you can see. That non-stick spray really helps that. Just want to go around here with these edges. Might have some voids in the side there, that's all right. I'm not looking for the perfect smooth shaped burger. I'm looking for the mega big daddy burger. All right, that's good. Let's hit the top with the same seasoning. A little bit of ground black pepper, some fresh ground salt, and some of that Trader Joe's South African Smoked Seasoning Blend. It's time to get this out to the Weber kettle because we also have to cook up some bacon and some onions for this. I have the Weber kettle set up with the Vortex offset a little bit so that I can add more charcoal if I need to using the little flip up wings in the cooking grate. First thing I need to do is get my cast iron pan on here to heat up. As Soon as that's hot, we're going to toast our bun and then we've got some bacon and onions to grill up. Okay, first thing I want to do is toast the bun. I've buttered each half of the bun. Just want to get a little, little toast on it. A little bit of color and crust. All right, let's check this out. Looking good. That's what I'm looking for. All right, time to cook some bacon. Some big strips of bacon for the Big Daddy Burger. Just love that bacon sizzle and cast iron. I know I've said it a hundred times in videos. Just love cast iron. It won't take too long because remember, we're cooking it to acceptable floppy state. That is looking good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get our bacon off here. That is cooked to my liking you like, you can crisp yours up to your heart's content. I like mine floppy. We've got some good bacon grease in there. We're not gonna put that to waste. We're gonna cook our onions in it. Moving these around a little bit. And we get them cooked up nice. Get a nice char on them. I'm not saying all of them are gonna fit on our burger, but you never know. Now we're not going to be cooking the burger in the cast iron, we're going to be cooking the burger directly on the grill grate over the vortex. And it is going to be a little tricky with a burger that big. I don't have a massive spatula, so we're going to kind of have to deal with it. Alright, these are looking good. I'm going to get the rest of these off. I'm going to move our cast iron pan and get our burger on. Alright, the vortex is screaming hot. See if we can get our burger on there. I've got it on a plate covered with foil that's been sprayed with some non-stick spray. Let's see if we can slide it. 
There we go. Now, because this burger is so large, I'm gonna be treating it almost like a big hunk of meatloaf. So I'm gonna put the lid on, let it cook for a bit before we turn it. All right, let's give our burger a look. It's been about five minutes. I'm gonna take a quick little temperature reading with the instant read here. I just wanna get an idea how quickly we're cooking inside. Oh yeah, it's still got quite a ways to go. I knew it wouldn't be done. I just wanna see how fast it's moving. All right, I'm going to attempt something here. I don't know, should I just go for it? Should I just try and flip it? I think I might. There we go. It worked. The burger has a little more structural integrity than I expected. All right, let's put the lid back on. Let that keep cooking. I think the only thing I like better than the smell of hickory smoke is the smell of burger smoke. Oh. All right, let's give this a temperature check. We're gonna have flare-ups with this much meat grease coming down on there, that's all right. All right, Get right into the center here. Yeah, we're only at about 97 degrees, which I expect is a big hunk of meat. I wanna take it to about 145 internal, 140, 145. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move it indirect. I don't want it to burn. And while it's sitting here cooking indirect, I want to add some more flavor to it. So I've got a sriracha barbecue sauce that I'm just going to put on the top here. Just going to spread that around, that all over the top. I'm going to add a few more briquettes over here. Get our lid back on, All right, keep cooking. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. I wanna give this a temperature check. Oh, that's looking really nice. Let's see how we're doing here. Probably at 134, 135 right now, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna turn it again and put some barbecue sauce on the other side. Brush this around. Get some on the sides too. I'm gonna to put the lid back on, probably for another five to 10 minutes, just to let it finish. I want it to be 145 to 155. All right, it's been about 10 more minutes. I'll give this a check. It's probably hard to see in this light, but that's a beautiful looking burger, even as mammoth as it is. Get a temperature check here, because I wanna get some cheese on this. Probably 143, perfect. It's the right time to get some cheese on here. And my choice today are a couple slices of pepper jack. I'm actually gonna move the burger back directly over the coals for just a couple minutes. Just so we can let that cheese start to melt. And we'll get it off, get inside, and build this Big Daddy barbecue burger. All right, I am ready to get this off and inside so I can have a bite of this bad boy. All right, there is the beginning of our Big Daddy barbecue burger. Time to dress this thing up. First thing I want to do is put just a little bit more of this sriracha barbecue sauce on here. Then I'm going to go with some of those onions. Things are going to be hanging out the side here. I don't care. And now, some bacon. I think I'm gonna try and go for three slices of bacon on here. I'm gonna top this off with a pickle. But there you go, the Big Daddy barbecue burger. Holy moly, that's a big burger. Let's put a lid on this and cut into it. All right, so let's cut into this and see what it looks like straight down the middle. I feel like I need a chainsaw. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh yes. Look at that. That's perfect medium for me in the middle there. Oh, look at that. Would you believe me if I said I'm ready to eat this? <laughs> I don't know that I'm gonna eat the whole thing. My son's here, he might like some, but I'm definitely gonna dive into this. 
Okay, there's an extremely high chance that there will be drippage coming off this. I just, I'm looking at this thing down here trying to figure out how to attack it. Half the size of my head? Oh, look at that. All right, I'm going to attempt this. <laughs> really good. I'm just swimming in juice here. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, here we go again. Going for another bite. I don't know that I can get my mouth open that wide. Mm. At the end of the day, it's just a burger. It's a big burger, but it's just a burger. The thing that really works well on this is the combination of that sriracha barbecue sauce and the pepper jack cheese. Really nice heat from both and that sweetness from the sauce too, really good. Mm. Onions still have a little bit of crunch to them. They're not totally grilled down that they just dissolve. Refreshing little bite of that pickle. Oh, this is that kind of burger. You got juice flowing. You got to have the napkins ready. It doesn't matter. You just go for it. I'm attacking it upside down now. Mmm. I'm massacring it because it's so big, but man, is it good. Oh, and that nice smoked bacon on this, really good. One of the things I really like about this is it's just a straight up barbecue burger. I used to love those when I was a kid. Have a nice hamburger patty, you cook it, throw a barbecue sauce on it near the end, gets that barbecue saucy tomatoey glaze, add that sriracha flavor to this one, that pepper jack cheese and everything, just perfect. This is that quintessential American barbecued burger maybe doubled or tripled in size, maybe a little more than that. But sometimes you just want to go for it. You want to build something big, a little bit outlandish, but still something you can enjoy. Mm. That was a pound and a half of beefy goodness. Well, at least three quarters of a pound of beefy goodness. I ate half of it. My son took the other half. Maybe someday I'll try and go for the full pound and a half, but that's a gut buster. So yeah, you could make this burger easily for two or three or even four people, just cut it into pieces. But boy, putting that sriracha barbecue sauce on it, glazing it out there at the barbecue, oh, topping it with that pepper jack cheese, bacon, onions, pickles. You can put anything you want on it. Tomatoes, ketchup, mustard. For me, this is what a barbecue burger is. I just wanted to take it up the next level and make the Big Daddy Barbecue Burger. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out some of the other videos on my channel and consider subscribing. And if you do, click that bell for notifications. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you again soon.